Hi, welcome back to episode six. Different, not deficient. I've got a title. I'm gonna try and work that title. Go on over to Substack if you want to get in on my uh, newsletter. I'm gonna have uh, actual strategies, uh, solutions, things you can do to make yourself a little bit more effective at getting through your day. Specifically for people with ADHD, also parents and teachers. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're here for. So today I want to talk about um, self-discipline and impulse control and medicine. How did I know it was working? Well, man, I, I was so uh, at a loss when I was young. Why can't I stop myself from doing this? Or why can't I force myself to be more organized or to use the daily planner? I just didn't care. And some people say that dopamine is the motivator for the future, and oxytocin is one for right now. Um, so probably lots of oxytocin. I felt great. I was always like happily naive. Oh, everything's going to be fine. People like me. Oh, yeah, I'm late. Oh, oh, well, they like me. They'll forgive me. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? When you're late, it means you're being selfish and you don't consider other people's time important? But I love those people, and they know that. I just couldn't get out the door early enough because I was doing something that was more important than being on time for my meeting with these people. <sighs> yeah, that was kind of a bummer to, to realize. Uh, I was visiting some monks and they would tell me, well, Father Gregory once spent some time telling me how selfish I was because I was always late. And I was like, uh, it, it took me a long time and he took a long time and lovingly destroyed my notion uh, and my notions until I realized that it really was a selfish act. But it wasn't obviously intentional. I just didn't realize it because I wasn't thinking far enough ahead and I wasn't thinking about other people. Oh, other people exist. Maybe I should put that on a t-shirt. So what are all the things that, that we're trying to fill in? What are all the gaps that we're trying to fill in? What What is lacking um, that, you know, we're trying to to drink our way out of. Some people go to alcohol, some people are going to nicotine, some people are gonna, um, you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. All of these high intense, high impact activities that create dopamine. Um, the, the most annoying part about this whole thing is that as soon as I started taking the medicine, I wasn't like lacking dopamine. And so I didn't need to go and search for it. I wasn't always trying to tell everybody, oh, here's what I'm doing and here's all of the details. Just pay attention to me so that we can have eye contact and then I'll feel like I exist and people care and that'll be great. I was able to have some self-discipline about, you know, the the, the regular meditation slash prayer spiritual things uh, associated with uh, the church I go to. And, and that came from a pill. And I kind of hate that. It makes me so mad. But then I'm also grateful because... I can create the, the neural pathways and I can create the patterns and habits that I know are going to push me towards less selfishness and caring for other people and being less of a jerk to my kids and, you know, uh, choosing battles properly. Um, I can say, oh, okay, I've been on the internet long enough. I don't need to look at this mindless Twitter feed anymore or whatever it is because I'm not lacking something. Uh, my brain is not lacking dopamine and it doesn't feel like anything physical, it just manifests itself in behavior. So teachers, you're in class and there's a student and you're in the middle of talking and they get up and they walk around and they like look at something on the board. Oh, look, look, there's, there's something. They're not even aware that they're doing it. And I've had students do that and I say, do you know that you just got up in the middle of my sentence and went over there and started singing nonsense syllables, but I was actually trying to do my job and teach the class? And they're, Oh, oh, no, sorry. And then they sit down and try and pay attention again. But I've tried to change my tack because I recognize that they don't even notice. Their brain just says, hey, feed me dopamine. I need it right now. And they get up and they look for something more exciting because what I'm saying is probably boring. Self-discipline. It, it solves that problem. It's so annoying. And I'm so grateful for it. Impulse control. I don't have to like buy everything I see in the store because I don't feel the sensation of like needing to have that little happy ping of, oh, look what I just bought. I just buy what I need. Uh, don't ask my wife though, because, you know, she'll argue about that a little bit and she'd be right. Sometimes I'm buying, you know, 
more rice than I need because what about survival problems and the end of the world and food shortages and whatever. Um, but most of the time I can impulse control myself into buying what's on the list plus some extra bacon. So yeah, it's, it's a weird one. I, I was shocked at how much that changed as well and annoyed and grateful. And I, I was talking to some friends. And I said, this, this doesn't make sense. It actually gives me some, some pause and some doubt about, about uh, going to church and like, you know, faith, because if, if self-control and impulse control, which I thought came from spiritual discipline and prayer and meditation and fasting and all that, which I think it can, but if it changes so drastically with a pill, what does that mean about the reality of things that aren't material, like spiritual beings like God and demons and angels and things like that, which is a bit weird to talk about, but I'm going to do it. Um, what does that mean for that? Well, a great answer from my buddy. Jesse, he said, well, look, we've all got our own journey. We've all got our own path. And just because you happen to have something that helps you and somebody else doesn't have that doesn't mean that our individual process towards God, towards the divine, it doesn't change that you have to still walk that path and still try to be grateful despite whatever stumbling blocks or whatever pitfalls or whatever, you know, mistakes you make or people you encounter. You still have to bear the weight of life and try to be grateful, which really I think is the essence of it all. Self-discipline in a pill. Ugh. And thank God. <laughs> yeah. Impulse control in a pill. I'm surprised it took so long to find out, but I'm also grateful that I found out. So there you go. There's my seven minute, five minute video. <laughs> Share this with somebody who might benefit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And uh, most of all, if you're willing and interested, go over to Substack, davidpassaverde.substack.com and join me there. We'll ADHD our way to success. Okay.